Okay, over the, over the last few years, collapsible running bottles have definitely become more and more popular, but with the huge range on the market, which one is best for you and which one is best value for money? In this video today, I'm gonna review 13 different collapsible water bottles so you don't have to. Serious question, how do vegetarians and vegans run in the spring? I've eaten about 20 flies. Ah. Definitely got my protein for today anyway. Cheers. Wait a minute. That's the track. Not even on the right track. Ah! Right, I've got to sort this out. It's been a while, but I've been sick. Uh, I've been busy. I've been doing a lot. I've been doing a lot of recovering. Today, actually, is pretty much the first day where I kind of feel okay. My heart rate is somewhere where it, I would expect it to be. So, uh, onwards and onwards. If you're out to run like this and you suddenly become parched, you know, you've got to be able to have a drink. And, and research has shown that just wetting the mouth is enough just to give you that bit of a lift when you're running trail runs, ultras, whatever. So, it's just a good idea to be, uh, to be drinking. Because if you don't, you could end up drinking out of some kind of bloody cow trough or, or toilet. And everyone knows there's two reasons why you don't drink out of a toilet. Number one, number twos <laughs> by the way i'm finally on strava i always promised i'd never go on there so <laughs> people can't see how little i actually run uh before i do the big events anyway i'm on there I'm going to check me out craig williams ultra find me say hello give me a follow i'll follow you back i'm expecting the parcels today and the goats are out and i don't want the bloody goats running down the main road which has happened before uh, and i don't want the dpd man getting butted which hasn't happened, but it's just a matter of time. Well, I'm glad I rushed back. Make sure the freaking goats were all right. Check this out. There he is. Chilling out on his freaking settee. I was worried about you lot. You're just chilling out like it's freaking, I don't know. You start earning your keep, you lot. Milk tomorrow morning. You as well. Want some eggs. In fact, you're in charge, chicken head. Get them sorted. Want some milk tomorrow. This video is not sponsored. These are the bottles that I already had, and some of these were complimentary. For example, I got the Solomon Advanced Skin 12 for Christmas, and these Solomon bottles came with it, so I thought I'd you know, throw them in the test so that we've got like a good amount of bottles to have a look at. So the way that I've rated it, and I've got a little table, believe it or not. Oh yeah, by the way, so it's the, uh, it's the five Fs of water bottle testing. First impressions, function, Features, filling, which is really important, and then fine and prices. Although most of the bottles are made by this company, Hydropack, they're definitely designed and created in different ways. Already on this table, there is little bits of water where some of these bottles have leaking. You got water on your table, what you got? Pool table. Some of them have got extra features, which I like, and some I think are just a little bit gimmicky. I think the cheapest bottle, £6.81, up to the, the most expensive bottle, 25 quid. I mean, it's a massive difference. This is why you need to do this review to make sure that whatever bottle you decide to get is worth the money and is gonna do the job for you. So I'm gonna mark all those bottles out of 20 for all those different things. I've tested them all in my running belt, the Montaigne Fang 5 running vest, the Solomon Advanced Skin, and also the uh, Ultimate Direction Fast Pack, which I think most people have got or have got very, you know, got very similar product. All right, first up, we've got the Montaigne Via. This is the Soft Flask 360, which is a bit of a weird amount. I tried to get 500 mil bottles across the board, but some of them you just can't. First impressions, I like it. It's actually got like quite a nice, almost rough feel to it. I like the shape of it. It seems to sit in the hand really, really well. And actually, out of all these bottles, this is the one that I would kind of probably pick up first. It, it sits in the belt really well because it's like shape, you, you can get it quite easily into your pockets and out of your pockets. Um, the capacity is just a bit small. I also like the fact that it's got a wide or a wider cap, you know, which definitely makes it easier to get your water in and out. This is, this is definitely, despite the size, a little bit of a winner. Now, if I was doing a longer leg, like maybe a, a one hour leg between checkpoints, I'm not sure this would be, this would feel like it's enough water for me depending on the the climate and temperature and maybe even the terrain so slightly let down by the capacity 
but really like the overall look and feel of that. And then the price, so this was £11.30, so very much middle of the road. However, when you consider the capacity of 360, I don't feel like I'm getting a great value for money because I'm not carrying as much as some of the other uh, bottles will allow me. You know, it only takes this to leak a little bit and you're considerably down on the water compared to some of the other bottles. Amazing. So all in all, the Montaigne uh, Soft Flask 360 has scored 60 out of 100. <whistles> Not bad. I don't know if that's good or bad because it's the first one. Okay, next one then. Everyone has an issue with uh, with pronouncing this make and, and I did, I had to do a little bit of searching. Ioneji, okay, it seems to be the way to pronounce it. So when this first arrived, there was two bottles in the pack, so I thought, Bingo. We talk about value for money. To get two bottles was definitely a winner. Other than that, it is quite a nice feel to it. However, it does feel like I've got like a big rotten cucumber in my hand because it's quite long. On the Ultimate Direction Fast Pack, this did flop around a little bit like that and nobody wants a long floppy one, do they? But in the Solomon Advanced Skin, it fit really well. And there's this like reinforced shaped bit at the bottom, which definitely helped you to get it into the vest. There is a little bit of hook on there, which I suppose, you know, if you're in a tent at night time or you don't want to put it down on the ground, that's definitely helped. But how much of a, a benefit it is, I don't really know. Uh, but there's also this little cap. Now I think I would take this cap off because, you know, it might be an extra little bit of faff, but in the current times when we're protecting against germs and we don't want this whoosh, squeezy thing pressed whilst it's you know in transit or we're running around or whatever, it could be a little bit of a benefit. And then price, so £19.63 from Amazon for two bottles, makes it about £10, about £10 each. So definitely better value for money than the, the Montaigne considering the capacity. The A&EG Soft Flask 500 hook style. Scores 59 total, one behind the Montaigne. Okay, the next one then. This is a bit of a weird one. First impressions, really expensive at, uh, at £22.44. Fitly, I've never really heard of Fitly as a, a company. When I saw it, I just thought, well, you know, it's priced so high, I've, I've got to get it and test it. I know some companies just, they create a product, price it high, uh, and price, is what we call a heuristic. It's like a natural shortcut to making a decision. When we see high price, we think high quality. And, and I think that some companies out there price stuff high, so you have this shortcut to, oh, it must be good then, you know? And, and, and I think this is the case for this little bottle. In regards to capacity, it's 400 milliliters and not the 500 that I was kind of wanting. Overall, very wide in the vest, for example, you just, you're just not getting that in. So I don't think that's very good. I like the feel of it. Don't like the big bulbous bit at the bottom, although it is reinforced. All in all, this is, I think this is pretty poor. As a spare bottle in the side pocket, of your, of your backpack or something like that, you'd probably get away with it, but this is not something that I would choose. And therefore, I think the uh, the grades are gonna be quite low. Oosh, so the Fitly Soft Flask 400 uh, scores, scores 20. Not great. Okay, next one, the Solomon Soft Flask. Now this is one of the two variations of the Solomon Flask that I've got. This is one that I actually bought off the old Tinterwebs. You get two in this pack. So uh, two for the price of £13.43. I think the 43 comes from VAT that they add to it. What's interesting, if we compare the two Solomon, so this one is one that I got complimentary with the Advanced Skin 12, is different size of the neck for, for filling, which I thought was really interesting, which I, why I included both in this. Capacity 500 milliliters, capacity on this is... Well, that's weird. Oh yeah, it's the same, 500 milliliters. Okay, so this one is more narrow. This one is a little bit thicker. Again, don't like that. I don't like having the rotten cucumber in my hand. Just don't like it. However, when I saw the size of the actual nozzle, which is almost as big as the bottle itself, I thought that's gotta be good for filling and putting in your powders and all that kind of stuff. Again, I like the reinforced bottom and the shape to it. Uh, it's narrow enough to get in the advanced skin. Bit too long for the belt, and also a little bit too long for the fast pack. You know, if I was to put this inside the fast pack, all right, you've got quite a bit that's kind of hanging out. I don't, I don't quite, I don't quite like that. No real features other than the wide neck and the reinforced shaped bottom. Okay, and everyone likes a, a shaped bottom. You have got some kind of 
capacity marker on the back. It's the first one of these bottles that we've seen this. I don't really use that much, but you know, if you're trying to, if you're really monitoring your hydration and all that kind of stuff, then you know, this would definitely be a useful thing to have. So let's, uh, let's score it. 78. The Solomon Soft Flask storms into the lead. Okay, next one. We've got the Innovate Soft Flask with tube, by the way. Okay, so yeah, very, they're very um, quick to remind you that it is with tube, yeah? Which, if nothing else, you know, this gives you hours of fun if, you, if you're bored at night time and during a multi-stage race. So here we are, Innovate, obviously a very well-recognized brand. Good thing is it's 500 milliliter capacity. In regards to first impressions, similar look and feel to the uh, the material used in the montane but it is it's very rectangular you know and these corners made it a little bit tough to get it into a couple of the carriers that i used it sat really well in the belt as a bottle but then this tube was an absolute pain in the ass and this was pissing water all down my legs other than that it fit well in the uh, in the fast pack but then the tube was just a little bit too long i suppose you could cut it down if you wanted to it works really well in in both the vests that i put it in but you would want to Try and control this tube a little bit. I think it's just a little bit too long. And you do have to get a good suck on it. If you're sort of low in the old lung function, then this is not the ball for you. Or you've just had COVID like me and breathing on its own is tough. Then, uh, you know, it's going to take you a little bit of extra effort to get the water out of here. So this is 25 pounds. I mean, how much? does a little bit of tubing cost you. That's the difference. You know, if, if, if an extra sort of 15 quid gets you this bottle compared to others, and the main difference is the size of this freaking tube. I mean, how much does plastic tubing cost, really? And there's definitely not a load more freaking design got into it. Oh, one of the things that I forgot to mention, it has got like um, an offset, like angled mouthpiece. So I suppose, you know, you could go in the back there, Oh, maybe I've just cracked it. It kind of goes, sits in the back with the tube coming round and then you're drinking it like that. That would definitely work. That has actually completely changed my thoughts on this bottle. I'll have to have a look and see if there's an Innovate vest or something like that where the bottle sits up on the, on the back and on the shoulders. But even that, you know, if that's in there, that's not a lot of capacity really compared to like a Camelback or similar. Okay, let's mark it. So we've got Innovate soft flask with tube by the way, 47, not great from the old Innovate soft flask with tube. Okay, next one, the Osprey Hydraulics. Good outdoor brand. Um, I like the style of it. When it comes to like first impressions, there was two that really stood out. One was this one, I like the design of that. Um, but this one, I think I thought the color scheme and the design of it was really good. And, and somehow the material seems to feel a little bit a little bit thinner. I don't think it's any less durable, but it just feels lighter in a way. In regards to function, definitely holds the water. It's not got a shaped bottom, so we don't like that. It is reinforced down the bottom. Narrow opening for sort of filling up. There are capacity markers on there, but they're just not as obvious. They're just kind of down the side there. They're not as obvious, but they are on there. So, you know, you can't fault it from that. Definitely easy to kind of get a drink out of. They do give you like an extended straw. I haven't used it yet. However, this did sit low in some of the vest, um, but this extra little straw would definitely help. And then the overall size and shape of it was very good for the belt. So if you run predominantly with a belt and you want a good 500 mil bottle to go in your belt, then definitely consider this one, the, the Osprey. It's 11 pound 90 now, I think that's reasonably priced for what is quite a big brand. And then this extra straw just feels like you're getting decent value for money if you want that interchangeability or extra added features or whatever. So I think overall, not bad value for money. Next one, how we doing? Let's keep with it. The Om Ultra Drinking Flask. Uh, first of all, 350 mils, not the 500 I wanted. First impressions, massive spout for filling up. I like that, okay? There's also a good hook, so that if you want to hook it up in the tent or wherever, then that, you know, without putting it on the floor, then that's a good thing. And remember, I had some, a couple of these little bottles in the jungle in, uh, in the Amazon, and to put them on the floor, you're kind of thinking someone's gonna stand on it, or it's gonna get like bacteria, mud, and all that kind of stuff in the nozzle. To be able to hang it up, be quite easy, and it's definitely one of the bigger hooks that we've got on these bottles. I like the look and feel of it, it has got, a bit of a shaped reinforced bottom. 
I quite like it. Just let down a little bit by the capacity. First impression's good. Mmm. Quite tough to drink from. God, I compare that to easy. Jeez. Wow, that is amazing, the difference. It's definitely harder to do that. So this is £12.98, not the most expensive, not the cheapest, but pretty decent value for money if you have the sucking capacity of a freaking garden hoover. <laughs> 61, <clears throat> not bad, Om. Original Mountain Marathon. Okay, little bit of a sidewinder. When I was looking through the, the water bottles on Amazon, picked out a couple of cheap ones because I wanted to have like a very balanced review. So I got this one, the Sang Yao 2. Now, there are a ton of what is quite obviously the same bottle, just different makes, you know, where people are doing, you know, cheap deals on Amazon. This one came in at £6.81. First impressions. When it first arrived, I thought, yeah. Uh, that feels cheap. Uh, this, these seams down the bottom, I just don't know how much I trust those. I like the fish, but it does, it does seem cheap. It's got exactly the same cap, looking at it now, as the Aeneji. Ah, oh, tastes like shite. Bit dubious over this. It's got this little cap to keep it clean and to stop, obviously, the, 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 the nipple getting squeezed unintentionally. Nobody wants that happening. And then value for money. Well, I mean, it comes in at £6.81, so better than this Fitly thing, which is just ridiculously priced. It really is a budget bottle, but it's not something I would trust if I was doing a race that kind of meant anything. 25. All right, this is a bit of a strange one. The Hydra Pack Sky Flask. So I think the Hydra Pack has gone, you know what, I'm making all these bottles for everybody else. Let's freaking do one of our own. They called it the Sky Flask. When it first turned up, I was like, that is weird. You know what I mean? It just seems weird. But then when I started thinking about it, I thought, wide neck, that's lockable, which is the first one of these bottles I got on Amazon that is actually lockable. There is a little bit of handle there, which, you know, I don't know if this is good or bad, but what you can do is you can kind of tighten it down and squash down the bottle. It feels good quality. I like this. You can stand it up, but it's still a collapsible bottle. Coming to an aid station with COVID now, people can't really help you as much as they used to. You crack, you put that on the thing, you crack it up, you can put your gel, you put your uh, powders or whatever in there, fix it up, you know, you, you can really do it yourself. This is a separate carrying handle. I don't think it really works. Kind of get in the way, but I do like the way that you can kind of fold it down and collapse it down. Weird. First impression's like, what the frick is this? Second impression's good. The more I think about it, the more I th think it functions really well. It definitely holds the water. It's 500 mils like I wanted. It's a wide neck, you know, easy to collapse down because obviously we think about drinking and using it whilst it's got water in it, but what about stowage afterwards? Maybe it's a little bit bulky. Love the fact that you can lock it. Really easy to drink from. I quite, I quite like it. And then price. This is where it's let down a bit. It's 19 pound 34 for this bottle. I don't think it's priced in a level that I would accept all the compromises that comes with this bottle. It is bulky, it is heavier than most other bottles, and the actual feel of it is not 100%. So I don't think, because of the price, it warrant, you know, I don't think I'd accept those compromises. Okay, we're gonna move on to now some of the bottles that I already had and, uh, and how they function. The first one is complimentary bottle that you often get with precision hydration. I'm a massive fan of precision hydration. If the average electrolytes and salt tablets just don't cut it for you, you're much heavier sweater, then definitely consider pre precision hydration. They do sachets up to 1500 milligrams of sodium, which when in your hot climate, or if you're a heavy sweater, you definitely need. And they also do like a free sweat test. You can do it online, um, or you can pay and go and get a, a proper sweat test, which tells you kind of what grade you're on in regards to your hydration. I'm a massive fan. I use them for all my events and all my races. First impressions. Okay, it doesn't feel like 500 milliliters compared to this. It, it is 500 millimeter, uh, milliliters. Reinforced seams, bit of bulbous down the bottom, which sometimes can be a little bit tough to get into your vest, but a good bottle to say that it's, it's free. You know, there's no markers on there to tell you how much water is in there. You'd think with a hydration company, they would have that on there, but obviously they've just got something cheap and cheerful, chuck it in the thing as a free gift. My first impression with this is a nice one. You've sent me a free gift and I like it. Uh, it goes a long way. I've used it quite a lot. It is hard to get some freaking water out though. It's not, you compare that to some of the easier ones, you do need to be a 
bit of a sucker to get this out. Filling, not easy. Again, precision hydration, you'd think they'd give you a bottle that was easier to get the powders in. Next one then, with your advanced skin vest, you get two Solomon bottles. Very, very similar to the one that I bought off Amazon and all, all they are different. There's not, they're not small differences when it comes to the practicality. Straight away, you can see the difference in the neck side. This is also a little bit thicker. So I think it works like in the Solomon Vanskin vest, not bouncing around a little bit, but it's still too long for my fast pack. And the bell, it kind of crunches up and that puts pressure on there. And then it's really, ah, really easy to leak. Yeah, the, the complimentary bottles, it's got the marker on there for the capacity. I think it's just the nozzle just kind of lets it down a little bit. However, considering it's a, it comes with the vest, can't, can't really complain too much. First impressions, still like a rotten, Bloody cucumber, 57, better than the pH. Next one then, this Montaigne bottle came with my Montaigne Fang 5 vest. First impressions, it's a little bit squishier than, than most, but I like the sort of feel of it. It's definitely a different style to the other Montaigne bottle. It's got the capacity markers on there, tiny, tiny little narrow neck, big bulbous bottle, which can make it hard to get it into your Pouches sometimes, perfect size for the belt, little bit short for the Solomon running vest. Okay, the final bottle is the ultimate direction complimentary bottle. I'm just trying to find the capacity of this. I can't see this being 500 milliliters. So this is either 350 or 400 mil. Not very helpful that there's no designation on there, but what there is, it has got a locking feature. Really easy to drink from, and the locking feature works really well. That, however, I can tell you from experience, when your fingers are cold and you're up in the mountains, that's tough to turn, you know, and that can be quite frustrating. That could be a little bit easier. However, it is lockable and I like that. The shape is perfect for the belt, just sits in the back. Way too short for the vests. However, the pa fast pack, it just sits in there really well. And again, I I've used this quite a bit. Okay, we've done it. We've reviewed all these bottles and we've got all the scores. I'm gonna give you top three and the worst bottle. The worst bottle, you might be able to work out what it is right now, but the top three may surprise you. In at number three, we have the Ultimate Direction Complimentary Bottle. Love it. If you can track these down with the wide lockable neck, then this is really good. The only downside is the fact that this can be tough to rotate when you're out on the trails and it's pretty cold. One of the things that lets it down is the capacity. However, I use this quite a lot. I'll whack it. Any sachet that's like 500 mils, I'll whack it in. It doesn't seem to be a problem. So um, number two, when I first picked this on Amazon, I thought it was a joke. But actually, as I've gone through it and I've reviewed it, Apart from the, the fact that it's, it's a little bit heavier, the actual function of it, the price of it lets it down a little bit, but it scored really high. But that came in at number two, and then the winner was the Solomon Soft Flask 500. I don't like the shape, but the wide neck, the ability to drink, all these added features, this definitely put it high. Maybe it's because I used the, the Solomon Advanced Skin, which I really rated, but I think it all boils down to the fact that it's a great bottle at a great price. The uh, Aeon EG was very, very close and definitely a great budget bottle, um, but what lets it down is the nozzle. If this Aeon EG bottle had a wider cap, it, it would, it really would, would have been up there. So that's it. Oh, and obviously worst bottle was this freaking cheap bit of crap. £22.44 is like someone is laughing in your face. Do not go anywhere near that, that bottle. By the way, what bottle do you use? I know that a couple of people have used some different bottles that I've not tested or managed here. I just couldn't get hold of them either in time or I couldn't get them on Amazon or whatever. Um, so tell me what bottles you use and why you like them. Let's get the conversation going. Till the next video, take care.